Some countries in the world are aging quickly and they are not replacing their population with babies and children. Africa, on the other hand, is the youngest continent in the world with a potential demographic dividend coming up in the rest of this century. My name is Graham Codrington. I'm your tour guide to the future. And as we think about the big dramatic forces that could shape the world in the next few years, aging and an aging population is definitely one of the most important and often overlooked. Countries like China, South Korea, Japan and European countries like Italy and Germany in particular are all facing the prospect of getting a lot older without having enough young people coming up in the system. Uh, this in the short term might not be a problem, but in the long term it means that the economies struggle as there are not enough young people coming up into the workplace. What this means is that you then need to send that work somewhere else. India has seen the benefits of this. So have the Philippines and Indonesia in the last few years. But as we look ahead, there's also the difficulty of the economy of the country. So it's not just the number of workers in the country. It's also where uh, new revenue comes from and how the economy grows. If we take a longer view of this, uh, there is huge potential for Africa to see a demographic dividend as today's young Africans grow up into adulthood. The faster aging happens in rich and middle class uh, countries around the world, the more important it is that Africa's population stays on track to reach 2.5 billion people in, in the middle of the century, maybe I don't think that the United Nations estimates of 4 billion by the end of the century in Africa are correct. I think it will slow down before then. But the movement of even a fraction of these Africans into other parts of the world will probably be this century's most significant global transformation. The balance between uh, those Africans as they move around the world being assimilated and accepted into the workforce of the world or the world exporting some of their work into Africa, the balance between that and then closed borders and maybe people closing off uh, immigration options to Africans in the future will probably be one of the biggest deciding factors about whether we see this aging trend be something that causes decline in the world or revitalization uh, instead. What happens in Africa is going to affect the rest of the world and how the rest of the world engages with Africa is a key determining factor of what happens to the rest of the world in the rest of the century. You see, when we look at aging, we're not just talking about how you need to think about your retirement and your old age. We're talking about massive shifts in the geopolitical structures of our world. That's why aging is one of our great gray elephants. I hope you're enjoying this mini series as we look at the future and work out what might happen.